is a nook shook, our polar bear. So if we want to take a step over where I am, a nook shook is going to get nice and tall. Put our arms up. The animals are actually two scale, so this is how big they are in comparison to us. If we want to give him a nice pat on his back, he likes belly rubs. A nook shook likes belly rubs. Now we buy a nook shook. So the Toronto Zoo is very happy to introduce a new exhibit here called Wild Connections that has opened to the public. We start off on Mars, we're going to have an astronaut friend come into our frame and once he's up I'll give you a little bit of how this works. So we can stand behind all of our animals as they come onto the screen as well as our astronaut Mike. He's going to head on over so I'll show you. If we try to go up and hug Mike, we're just going to be behind him, we're not going to go in front of him. We can duck. Can we jump like an astronaut? He's gonna walk off the screen jumping like an astronaut. It consists of two different elements. The first is a number of images from National Geographic photographers that have been taken from around the world. And with each of those images, we've been able to provide some information about what the Toronto Zoo does to save each of those species and to ensure their ongoing survival. The second phase of Wild Connections is something that's, uh, it's a world premiere production from National Geographic and Indie App Shaker, a company out of the United Kingdom. And it's an augmented reality experience. It centers around around a water hole and you are able to experience a number of different animals through augmented reality and the water hole takes you from Africa to Antarctica and the visitors are able to immerse themselves in this experience as they participate in this world premiere presentation that National Geographic has put together. We're very proud to be the world premiere for this presentation and we hope everybody enjoys it while it's here. I think that's going to attract a seal. Oh, now who wants to come over here with me? We can pet our seal friend. There we go. I bet we can get him. Oh, he's going to come out of the water to see us. Can we get him to roll over on his back? Maybe if we pet him enough, he'll want a belly rub. Yeah, he likes you. He likes belly rubs. Now our seal friend's going to head back into the water. Who's your favorite animal? Um, the dolphin. Dolphins, and how about you? Um, I like the whale. Do you like the whales? And what about you? I like the leopard. You like the leopard. I like the elephant. Yeah. Perfect. Part of the mandate of the Toronto Zoo is to have our visitors care and understand the work that the Toronto Zoo does. We found that this augmented reality experience does this. So how do you get people to care? How do you get people to understand that so many species around the world are vulnerable and are going towards uh, extinction or are endangered species? Right now, the world loses approximately three species a day, and a lot of that is a result of human actions. What we're striving to show here is if us humans don't take actions today, you will only be able to experience animals through augmented reality in the future. And that's why it is so important that we take actions today, and it's so important that the critical role the Toronto Zoo plays to ensure the ongoing survival of these very vulnerable and endangered species around the world. Yeah, we come back again. Would you want to do it again? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. What did you like the, be the most about it? Um, how the whale sprayed me. How the whale sprayed you? How about you? What did you like the best? Um, I liked when the dolphin danced. When the dolphin was dancing? And how about when you? the whale gave a high five. With a high five, yeah. And I liked feeding the giraffe. That was fun. Yeah, so it was great. And then put our hands up for a big high five. We're going to get a whale high five as he goes back underwater.